Whew. Hey, what's happening? How you doing? Uh, let's see here. What are we going to do today? We are going to make something. Let's make a camera. No, wait. Not going to make a cam. We'll make a camera rig. Shoulder rig. Yeah. And we're going to make it. What are we going to make it out of? We're going to make it. I got this. We're going to make a camera shoulder rig. Is that out of? Ah, PVC pipe, that'll work. Ugh. These had to have gone to something important. Anyways, we got our PVC pipe, now we can make our PVC pipe bombs. No, 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 PVC shoulder rig. So here's our half inch PVC pipe shoulder rig and what I'm going to do is reverse engineer this and take it all apart so you can see all the PVC connections we're going to need. This isn't time lapse, this is actually how fast I work. Alright, we're going to need five 90 degree angles, six 45 degree angles, two T-joints, three six and a half inch to seven inch straight pieces, two five and a half inch straight pieces, two two and a half inch straights, and it looks like doo -doo 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 -doo, and nine of the one and a half inch straight PVC primer and glue and PVC cutters. We're gonna need a PVC conduit electrical box. This will have a side access panel, a lower and a back fitting. But on the conduit PVC box, I use spray adhesive and placed a foam pad on the top. This will allow the camera to mount more securely and keep it from moving once it's on there. I used a two inch thumb screw. That's a one fourth dash 20 thread, two nuts and a spring. The conduit box is gonna have a rear and lower fitting with an access panel on the side. Now let's assemble the handles. Take your six to seven inch straights, two 45s, connect those together with the one and a half inch straights. Assemble both handles, connecting them to a T-joint with one and a half inch connection on one side, two and a half inch connection on the other side. The two and a half inch connection is gonna be on the opposite side of your shoulder rest. This will compensate for the camera being slightly off center. And now let's assemble our shoulder rest. Take your six to seven inch straight piece into a T-joint, into a five and a half inch straight, connect that into a 45 degree angle with a one and a half inch connection, into a 90 degree, Repeat the setup on the other side and the mount should look something like this. Now I know I'm throwing out a bunch of numbers and angles and all that, but you'll get the hint once you start putting it together, it'll make sense. Now for the complete assembly. With the rest of the components, connect the two and a half inch straight to the conduit with a 90 degree and then that into the other 90 degree. And there you go. That's the setup I went with, but here's an alternate setup if you want a wider base for your camera. All you have to do is pivot the base and remove two of the 90 degree angles and that will create the rig with a wide base. Perfect for flip cameras like this. And this just kind of shows you how easy it is to work with PVC and you can get creative and try your own design and just get jiggy with it. For my design, I wanted to add some shoulder padding. So before I glued the PVC pipe together, I grabbed some pipe insulation, cut some little slits like this to make our, my 90 degree angles, hot glued it together and taped it until the glue was secure and boom, there's our shoulder padding. I put the thing on your shoulder, get it and tweak it around. I found it a lot easier to have a mirror nearby so you can kind of see what it looks like, make sure everything looks and feels correct. Once everything is set up the way you like it, now we're gonna mark our PVC with a marker. I use two lines just to make sure I have all the alignment set up and then I glue it together. Be sure to number the pieces also, trust me. The... Trust me, it's very easy to lose track of what pieces go where and the PVC glue cures really quickly. You can see I've forgotten this one to mark the PVC. I thought I could figure it out by eyeing it and then I glued it together to mount on the wrong shoulder. So I had to make another one. I customized my rig by setting up the connections to the base to be removable. I didn't glue those together. This option allows me to break it down so I can pack it away for travel. And you can see here how it breaks into three parts. Like I said before, grab a PVC cutter. So much better than a saw. You just gotta watch your fingers. Chop, chop. Now there are a few different PVC conduit box styles to choose from, but what you're looking for is side access, rear and lower connection. Like this box here could work, but the handle will attach on the front and that could interfere with your camera lens when it's mounted. This box won't work because the access panel is on the top and the plate with the screws could interfere with how your camera mounts. This one could work, but again, the front port could interfere with how your camera is mounted in the lens. This is what it's gonna look like when it's all finished. I got this thing wrapped uh, with athletic black tape, got the little bicycle hand grips on the fronts here. And I built this one set up like this, put a little ridge in the back. You can just mount our viewfinder right like that, just kind of sits right there on that lip. And I didn't really break down the design uh, idea behind this, but I have this set up on my right shoulder and the reasoning behind that is I'm right handed and I typically like to focus this camera with my left hand and I wanted all the support to be on one side. I know that if it's kind of counterclockwise, actually that works better. I'll probably have to uh, focus now with my right hand. 
because that's super steady. Yeah, so there you go. Anyways, but there's just some ideas and things you can think about before you glue anything together. You want to kind of dry fit it and just think about stuff like that. Like in, if you're going to have a camera that has a focus lens and you want to have that, this actually works awesome because it's counter, it's crossing uh, over and so it's really steady and you don't even notice when I would hand off. This actually kind of droops down. Ah, there you go. Living and learning. Do bananas, bananas. Do, 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 do. Listen, I don't know why you're going all movie geek on me all of a sudden. I'm just saying I don't think Scream 4 is going to be all that. Because if a man came in my house wearing that mask, I'd beat him down. Because I ain't scared of nothing, baby. Gums, I know it's Valentine's Day, okay? I'm just sitting in the corner in the dark waiting for this guy to get off the phone. I try to call him, and he keeps ignoring me and sending me to voicemail. I sent him five texts, and I get nothing back. He's very rude, and I hear him making fun of Scream 4. And coming from a copycat, I'm very offended. So I'll call you back when I'm done killing him, okay? I love you. See you soon. Bye. PVC pipe is probably the best place to start. If you're ever thinking, man, I, I kind of want to do a do-it-yourself project, start with a PVC pipe project. Like if you have any experience with Legos, you are going to do good with PVC. Uh, you want to make sure you get yourself a PVC cutter. Looks like this. Like that. And you're gold. Um, if you haven't had a chance, go over to the PVC. Mm -mm, mm -mm, don't go there. Don't go there. Go to thefrugalfilmmaker.com. He's got some really cool PVC builds, light stands, camera rigs, some other stuff. Definitely worth checking out. So that's that. There's our DSLR camera sitting on top of our PVC pipe. And this is a DIY project. And you're watching QFX. <laughs> that was a bunch of initials. Why don't you be a BFF and go over there to uh, the FB and like us. There's no shorthand for like. I guess I can just do thumbs up. But uh, check out our fan page if you haven't already. Uh, a lot of cool back behind the scenes photos and some videos we're going to be posting soon and you'll get a sneak peek on upcoming events and things like that. So anyways, that's that. Definitely leave a comment if you have any suggestions or if you have any questions. I try to read everything. So if you'd like to see something on quick effects, let us know. Leave a video response if you end up building something or if you have a tutorial you'd like to share with us. And if you have a mini movie, 30 seconds or less, add it as a video response and maybe we'll post it on a future episode of Quick Fix. This is a Quick Fix, Quick Effects, fast, fun filmmaking effects, props, and other things in between. Can I, I think I can find water with this. Empty. How do people do this in the movies when the canteen's full of water and they're like, if there was one drop of water in there and I'm in the desert, I'm doing that. It's not going on the ground. That's stupid.